Describe Issa in one word. Easy going. Hard work. Resilient. Fiery. Dependable. Passionate. Driven. Persistent. Motivated. Issa is genuine. A legend. Inspiring. One of a kind. Fantastic. Swag. Dedicated. The one word that comes to my mind when I think about Issa is heart. Hey, I'm Isaura Guzman, a senior mechanical engineering major at Stevens Institute of Technology, as well as co-captain of the women's basketball team. I grew up in the projects in Union City, New Jersey. My parents, Jose Julio and Margarita Guzman, came to the United States about 35 years ago from the Dominican Republic. I'm the baby of the family. I have an older brother, Julito, who has two kids, my nephew Brandon and my niece Brielle. My adopted sister Claudia has a daughter, my niece Amanda. My other sister, Ariana, and my brother-in-law, David, have a son, Darren Lucas. I'm the lucky aunt that gets to brag and say he's my godson. My four babies are my world. I really enjoy hanging out with them, and I strive to be a positive role model in their lives. My friends are also my family. So although we're not related by blood, we may as well be. Besides my friends, I definitely consider my team my family, too. I spend most of my time with these girls. I'm the type of person that likes to read books in my spare time and learn new things and see things from other people's perspectives. I also genuinely enjoy helping people out and just easing their loads and seeing people around me happy. It's such a heartwarming, gratifying feeling. I take a lot of pride in the leadership programs I have been a part of, whether it's through sports, whether it's through education. Uh, I just think it's very, very important to mentor young kids and teach them values that they can use in their everyday life. I absolutely love sports, all different kinds of sports, but basketball is without a doubt my passion. It's, it's everything to me. I love everything about the game, whether it's playing it, watching it, teaching it, learning about it, just, just everything. I started playing basketball at the age of nine, and right away I knew it's what I wanted to do for the rest of my life, so I had dreams to play in college and in the WNBA. The first team I ever played on was St. Augustine CYO, an all-boys team. It was a very interesting experience being the only girl on that team for four years, but I still loved it. I also played for my grammar school team from the fourth to the eighth grade. In high school, I played volleyball, basketball, and softball. Unfortunately for me, my sophomore, junior, and senior basketball seasons were cut short due to knee injuries. I didn't think I would ever play organized basketball again, especially after tearing my ACL in my senior year. But the opportunity presented itself and so I chose to go to Stevens so I can get a great education and play basketball. Throughout my four years in college, I suffered more injuries, so I was not physically able to play most of my time at Stevens, but I did get to play my junior year and couldn't have been any happier. We won the conference championship that year and got a berth into the NCAA tournament. When I first heard of this program, the timing couldn't have been any better. I'm convinced that it was fate. I had just suffered my fourth season ending injury before my season had even started. And the reality that my playing days were over was really hard on me. But I will say that all the years on the sideline really helped me in, enhance my basketball IQ and made me see and appreciate the sport from a different aspect. Like I always knew coaching was something I wanted to do, but that pretty much solidified it for me. And not only that, but I also would like to change this negative situation I was in and make it into a positive one by taking a year off and then going to grad school for physical therapy and pursuing a career in physical therapy so I could help athletes get back from their injuries and back to their sports and just help people in general heal from their ailments. And that's the great thing about the sabbatical program is that it incorporates two things I'm very passionate about, which is helping people learn to play the best sport in the world. It's, it's just a match made in heaven. If awarded this incredible opportunity, I would choose to go to different cities in Rwanda, more specifically the capital, Kigali. Many people have told me to reconsider this choice because of the previous dangers that occurred in this country. But the way I see it, somebody needs to step up and provide the people of Rwanda with the help they need. I feel that Rwanda, more so than other countries, is in need of a positive social change. And that's one of the main missions of the sabbatical program. I want to be one of the people that makes a difference in their lives and makes the people feel and believe that things will get better. I would use some of the grant money to renovate existing basketball courts and implement features such as steel bars along the outside of the courts so the kids could do pull-ups and other bodyweight exercises 
and lower rims so that younger children could feel encouraged to play and start at a younger age. I also plan on running various week-long basketball camps to teach kids on-court skills and drills every day as well as different body weight exercises they can do and they'll learn lessons in leadership and gender equality throughout the week. I'm a firm believer in kids getting prizes and reward and rewards for their hard work and effort and I know from my from my experience in basketball camps that kids respond a lot better when there's a prize at the end and prizes could include like t-shirts and sweatbands, sporting bags, small trophies and plaques and even gift cards to a local supermarket so they can have food for their house at the end of the day. I already spoken to a local sporting goods company and they've already agreed to donate some equipment and if any other equipment is missing I'll purchase it with some of the grant money. I would love to work with the Street Kids of Rwanda organization which is a nonprofit organization dedicated to promoting the welfare of Rwandan street children by providing housing, food, and education. With the help of this program, I wish to educate young children in disease prevention, nutrition, as well as promote good health and sanitation because one in five children die before their fifth birthday, and that's a statistic that needs to change. I'd like to have contacts at locations I've reached to make sure that the positive social change continues even after my departure. I'd also like to use the experiences gained during this program to give back to my community at home. Down, baby. The motivation for Stop. me is them telling me what I could not be. Ooh. Oh well. I'm an outgoing, confident, and determined individual. I've been involved in leadership programs such as SAC, peer mentor programs, and various sports camps. Thanks to basketball, I've come to appreciate everything a lot more and not take anything for granted. When I'm passionate about something, I'm invested 110%. And I know that sounds a little cheesy and cliche, but that's real. The most important lesson I've ever learned from basketball is to dream big and never give up on those dreams or anything you're passionate about.